Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Chodi and welcome back to Learn Nomad Technologies YouTube channel. So if you see my screen, in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the difference between EDB and PostgreSQL. So if you are starting your career into PostgreSQL DBA, there will be terminologies like PostgreSQL, which is our open source database. There will be a terminologies which you will listen multiple times that is called EDB. So what is the difference between this PostgreSQL database and enterprise database? Many have a questions, many have a confusion regarding this. So I'll try to make it quite simple. And you know that how we always make the complex thing simple. So PostgreSQL is a open source database. Open source means, what is mean by open source? Open source means anyone can take the code of this PostgreSQL database and he can make the changes as per his requirement. And this open source is absolutely free of cost. Okay. So let's say I'm starting my new business and for my business, I need a database. So obviously I'm looking for something which is completely free of cost. So I have a multiple options are there. Like I have options like Oracle is there, SQL Server is there, MySQL is there, PostgreSQL is there. I feel like Oracle and my Oracle and this SQL Server are very, very costly. So I'll go with the PostgreSQL database, which is completely free of cost. Then what happened like after some day, I can see that there are some of the challenges which are available under the PostgreSQL database. What are those challenges? The challenges like my database is getting down automatically. I have some security issues in my database. So I have some security issues. I have some bugs in my database, which I'm not able to fix as a DBA because there is a, some problem in the code itself. The way, you know, how the PostgreSQL has been designed, there is a problem in that only. So whenever I have a multiple issues are there, what I will do, I need a support. What I need when I have these issues, I need support. Now to whom I'm going to reach, right? Because this database is completely free of cost and anything is free to whom I should reach, right? I need a support. I have a very crucial data available inside my PostgreSQL database. So what these people are there, we call it as a community support. So those people, who are using a PostgreSQL, they are getting community support. But since this community support is there, but is it that fast? Like if I'm dropping an email now, can I get the response in next two hours or one hour or 30 minutes? No, right? Because this is a community support. Community setup means, let's say there are few people are there who are very enthusiastic, very talented people are there. They will provide you support, but it may take a time because we are not paying. And when there is no money, then definitely you cannot expect from someone that they will provide you support very quickly, right? So that's the problem with the community support. So this problem has been identified by the company called EDB, that is Enterprise DB. What they have done, they have taken the source code of PostgreSQL only because it is completely free of cost. And then they identified the issues which are available under the PostgreSQL, like just take an example. There are some of the functionalities which are not supported under PostgreSQL. So they added that functionalities under Enterprise DB. Enterprise DB. You know, what is the main importance of Enterprise DB, which also a PostgreSQL database only, okay? It's not something different. It's a PostgreSQL database only, along with, along with new features and tools, new features and tools. The main important thing of Enterprise DB is it provides you support also. Support. Support means, let's say you got some issues inside your database. So you can reach out to the Enterprise DB that, boss, I have some issues. Can you please fix that? So this Enterprise DB, this company, they will provide you priority support based on the SLA, service level agreement. What type of support you need? But again, does this support is free of cost? No. Support means you need to pay. This is not free of cost. You need to take the license if you want the enterprise DB. 
So what is the main difference between the PostgreSQL? Yes, PostgreSQL is open source, completely free of cost. But when you're using a PostgreSQL along with the EDB, the EDB PostgreSQL database, you need to pay the money for the support because they are paying you very good support. Second thing is, likewise, there are some of the issues that are available. Like let's say you need some patching. You need to apply some patch. So patching is the activity which is mainly useful when you want to remove the bugs, security problems from your databases that patching will be provided by the enterprise DB. Let's say you want to migrate your database. So you want to migrate your database from Oracle to PostgreSQL. So for this, you need some tools, right? You need some tools. These tools will be also provided by EDB. So these are the add-on which you find under the enterprise DB when it compared to the PostgreSQL database. And performance wise also, since they have implemented a lot of tools and technologies, performance wise also, these databases is very, very good. Remember one thing that I'm not talking about something different database. It is a PostgreSQL database only, but with the new features provided by enterprise DB. So normally when you're going to the bank, like let's take example of Dutch bank, HSBC bank or any bank, those who are using the PostgreSQL database, they will use enterprise DB. If you're asking me, like if I'm starting a database, stopping a database architecture, why does it different? No. The core concept of your PostgreSQL and enterprise DB, it is completely same only. Same tools, everything is same. The way you are going to start your database, stop your database, the way you are going to make the changes to the files, everything is same. But the tools, the, the new add-on, the support-wise, cost-wise, this enterprise DB is much better. So if you are in a business which is a very small business, you want to just start with the PostgreSQL, you can go with the PostgreSQL database. But when you have a business which is very crucial, very important, you cannot afford the downtime, you need quick support, go with the enterprise DB. And those people who are watching me for the first time, if you want to start your career into the database administration, especially in PostgreSQL, you should be also aware about the enterprise DB. Okay. I know that you are very much excited to know more about multiple other things. I know that you want to understand about again and again something new. And if you're looking for PostgreSQL DBA training, if you're looking for PostgreSQL DBA training, you can reach out to the Learnomate team. The numbers are available over the screen. If you are looking for new video based on the PostgreSQL, you can just comment interested into the comment sections. I'll take care of that. And if you need anything, anything, any questions which is available inside your mind, don't keep it inside the mind. Just ask me. I'll try to make sure that you'll get the response from me. You can follow us on our Instagram, LinkedIn. You can join our WhatsApp group. And again, if you want to talk to me, you can call to the number which is available over the screen. Thank you. And do not forget to enroll for our trainings. And for free content, you can just simply say interested. We will respond you back. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.